Hey guys, Spots for tuning in here for a remake of my how to fix OBS high encoding video. Basically, a lot of people had some questions, very simple things that went wrong for them or things that I wanted to explain differently this time. So this is going to be the remake and let's get right to it. So basically what you want to do is you want to open up your task manager and some people, I believe it or not, didn't know how to do that. So you guys can just search it in the search bar or you can do central alt delete and open it up from there. What you want to do is you want to head over to this details tab. It'll open up at the processes most likely and you can open up on the details tab and then you want to find whatever OBS you're using. You Usually you can just do that easily by hitting CPU and then that'll bring it right up because OBS usually takes some of the most resources of anything you're using. You can just hit the set priority right here. Usually to get a more stable FPS while I'm playing or recording, I just hit o above normal for whatever game I'm playing to keep that as stable as possible. And then I hit high priority on OBS for recording or live streaming. For a more permanent solution, what you're going to want to do is go into settings right here and then go into advanced and hit this priority class process priority class button right here. And you're going to want to put it on above normal or high. That's completely up to you. And then it's basically the same thing. You would hit settings for um, in studio because this is the old outdated OBS version right here. If you have studio, you're going to do the same exact thing. Advanced process priority. You do high or above normal. I just do high because like I said, I put above normal for the game and then high for the actual recording of the game. Now, if your processor cannot handle what you're trying to do, try lowering your bitrate or try lowering the game settings. Sometimes your CPU just can't simply handle what you're trying to do. So this is not an all around fix. This won't fix your problem if your CPU is not good enough. And if worse comes to worst, maybe you actually need a new CPU if you're trying to do it at a super high bit rate and super high settings in your game or your CPU is just, you know, four or five years old. So this will fix the issue for most of my users. I know a lot of people have comments on my last video and most people seem to have fixed it with this method. I hope that this works for you. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you guys next time and stay awesome YouTubers.